Norfolk is facing an issue of air pollution, which has a considerable impact on public health. According to the data reported by Public Health England, the air pollution in Norfolk contributed to 415 deaths over the last 12 months, equaling a loss of nearly 4,500 life years. I think the pollution is getting a lot worse because、um, just everyone's using more fuel, there's more cars around, just that sort of thing, really. Um, I, th- I think that the air pollution's okay. I don't notice anything about it. It seems fine to me. Air pollution has got a lot worse recently in Norwich. We had、um, all that dust in the air. You could you could you could feel it.、And、they were actually advising the children to take the day off school that day, but well, that they were kept indoors. But no schools did that. Which is actually really worrying because you don't normally hear stuff like that in this country. More people are getting bigger cars like four by fours. No one's really using buses to share their carbon footprint. The chemical pollutants being monitored are mainly sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and ozone. But the main problem now is particulate matter. Usually known as PM 2.5 and PM 10. Currently, it's, it's really particulate matter, so particles, dust,、uh, um, soot that's coming out of of the exhaust of cars, from factories, from from burning all sorts of materials. This is really,、um, uh, the, I guess, the biggest problems that we have, and and also this recent report、um, that highlighted the, the number of of, of people dying from. Um, poor air quality in, in in Norfolk. That is also mainly referring to particles. Traffic is considered as the main cause of particle matter, but the reason behind is the transport policy. The policy in Norwich,、uh, well in Norfolk for a long time, has to be has been to build more roads. And、um, more recently, alongside that, to promote public transport, a、uh, walking and cycling, but.、Uh, Nonetheless, still the county council, with the support of the district councils, wants to build a large amount of road, new road space around the edge of Norwich, and, and that's going to create more road space、uh, and attract more vehicles. And obviously, you're going to get an increase in the number of vehicles overall. To solve the problem, methods should be taken in the aspects of both environmental sciences and policy making. The solution to that is. Um, both either in, in in making less use of this means of transportation or using、uh, these filters in the exhaust system. Sometimes also modification can be made in in the combustion itself, in the burning of the fuel in the engine, using better, more modern engines.、Um, but mainly, it, it is these particle filters that that can play a very important role in reducing the particle loading and therefore improving air quality. Not investing a huge amount, and, and billions are, are proposed for investing in new road building, but putting that money instead into public transport, local rail, walking and cycling measures. Individuals can also take personal actions to reduce the traffic fumes. A very large number of journeys are under five miles, or even under two miles. Uh, or one mile in in distance, and that's because people often, as their first choice, they jump into the car. Whereas, in actual fact, if they're just going a mile, they could they could easily walk there or cycle, and obviously that's going to have a beneficial effect on on their health. So there's a very large number of things that that people can do personally. Long-term exposure to particulate air pollution contributes to the death from respiratory and cardiovascular causes. In combination with other risk factors, 